about college covers is there's plenty of mentors in here who I went to school with. So they remember me when I was in school. And quite often when I ask them, how was I in school? Was I loud? Give me, was I loud? Not at all. Was I loud? Not at all. I was very quiet. So my thing with Polish Pebbles is I was smart, had good grades, um, figured things out, but nobody, a lot of people didn't know because I didn't know how to express myself. So if we had an auditorium and we had a guest speaker, like we have a guest speaker here today, do you think I asked the questions? Absolutely not. I hid out. So my thought with Polish Pebbles is to make sure that girls, you guys know how to be good communicators. Now I have some ladies who have been with me last year, so I need you to give me some clues, especially if you all want some mentoring program. This is called our Second Saturdays program. That's what I'm calling it for right now. But later on, girls, you guys are going to decide what we name this particular program. We have grown a lot. We started with just one program with about maybe 15 to 20 girls. And this year, we are working in several different schools, ladies, and we are working with little girls from down to 7 years old up to 17 years old. And I'm going to talk about some of the different sites and places that we are just so you guys know. But you all will have the opportunity to put your own stamp and name on what you guys want to call this particular program. I don't care, as long as it's appropriate, you guys have the, the rights to run with it and do what you want to do. We call this the second Saturday program because we meet once a month, and it's always what, the first Saturday? No, the second Saturday. Yay! Okay, I'm Connie, and I'm not very good at um, talking about myself, or she said to talk about how I got into radio and all that good stuff. I'm really happy about being here to help you guys in whatever aspect Kelly and the other mentors are, you know, the direction that they're going in. I'm just here to follow the vision. And um, But I will do what she asked. So I am Consuela. I am a radio personality, like she said, at WGCI. How many of y'all listen to WGCI? Six to ten? Why are you doing your homework? You're not supposed to be listening to radio. <laughs>
So if you're meant to have a, certain, a particular job, you won't have to compromise your values. You won't have to do anything that you don't want to. You won't have to say anything or be rude or step on anybody else. Because, and I will say, tell you this story. Uh, my roommate in New Orleans, uh, we she had just graduated from uh, from Xavier, and she was in communications. My major was physical therapy, so I'm supposed to be a doctor, but I'm doing all these things that, of course, my parents wanted me to go into medicine because that's a real career. I wanted to go into theater and music. No, I couldn't do that, but I did all those things in my extracurricular activities. I, I did theater and all that, so that's how I got the television show. I was offered a position at the radio station, the same radio station that my roommate had applied for after she graduated. I turned that job down because I knew she worked hard. She graduated in communications, which is what she went to school for, and she was going to get this job, and it was only one position on air open. I didn't go to school for that. And the radio, the buttons and everything in the radio station intimidated me. I knew I didn't have the, the foundation to do that particular job, even though I was on the television show and popular. That didn't matter to me. So I turned the job down. She was hired. She hated the manager. They did not get along at all. So she quit and got a better job, like maybe six to eight months later. She didn't stay there long at all. And that's when the, the program director called me again and offered me the position, this time with a little more money. Hallelujah. And then that's, um, that's how I started in, in radio. But when you don't compromise your values, when you don't, you don't have to step on people, you don't have, it may take you a little longer, but people will notice. Somebody will notice, and especially God will notice. That's what's most important to me. I don't know about you, but I'm more afraid of that than... The only thing I do have control over is the one little segment. How many of y'all know the download or delete? Do y'all ever call in at 7 o'clock? 7 o'clock at night, I play a new song. Sometimes it's a local artist. Sometimes it's a, a new artist or an artist that we hadn't heard from in a long time, and it's your time to vote. So that is something I have control over. Thank you.